So for the last six months with Rebel, I've been traveling across the country and meeting people with both fascinating and depressing stories. So much is going wrong in this once great country, from the migrant crisis to police corruption and even the hate that's been spewing from our mosques. But across the pond, it all seems very different. The United States actually has a president that seems to care for his citizens. So I thought I'd speak to Pamela Geller and see why she thinks this huge disparity exists. She is the founder and editor of the Geller Report and president of the American Freedom Defense Initiative. She's also the author of the Post-American Presidency, the Obama Administration's War on America and Stop the Islamization of America, a practical guide to the resistance. She's also an all-round amazing woman. We've had such a huge increase in terrorist attacks. We've had not just the last four that have happened, but five that have been foiled. I mean, where, where do you see all this sort of headed for, for this country? I think it's God awful. If you consider that a bomb designed for maximum carnage, for maximum pain, a bomb with nails and shrapnel and nuts and bone, bolts, to tear through children's flesh and bone, to maim and mutilate and dismember, if that was not the fall, if that was not the woke call for the British people, I'd say you were done for. Uh, and it pains me because I, the idea of America being alone, and we have our own struggle in this. We have the same leftist Islamic alliance. We have the same thing it's that the Brits are 10 years ahead of us in, in this. But we see no real action. You do not see their failing mosques. You do not see the shutting down of mosques. You do not see the stopping of foreign funding. Here in Europe, 80% of our mosques are funded by the, by the Saudis. Uh, you do not see the shutting of Islamic schools that teach the tragedy, that teach Islamic Jew hatred, creed apartheid, gender apartheid, holy war, Islamic supremacy. The, the, the motivation, the ideology is the one thing that the elite in academia, in media, in culture, in entertainment, in music, will not touch. And this is why the West is losing the war. Do you see any light at the end of the tunnel specifically for Europe? The only light I see at the end of the tunnel for Europe is Herr Wilder, is Paul Weston. Yeah. Now, I've yet to see the people you know, really get behind these candidates. I understand the information battle space. I understand the war of ideas. And I also understand that the enemy has the biggest and most powerful weapons. They have the elite media, or as I like to call them, the end media, uh, and culture. But the fact is we're right, and we're righteous. And I don't know how many kids have to die. I don't know how many people have to die. It's interesting to me to see the the left broke into action in the wake of the Finsbury incident. Why, I might add, a man who was probably insane tried to kill himself publicly before he uh, tried to institutionalize himself. I mean, this is truly the definition of a madman. And yet, when, when Muslims scream out of rock bar and, 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 and jam a knife into, let's say, as it happened yesterday in America, the neck, uh, uh, the neck of a cup. The new reaction is uh, he must be mental ill. Uh, so is the left saying that Islam is a mental illness? Isn't that Islam? Okay. 